guys welcome back to my channel today i'm showing you guys some spring outfits that i've been wearing and will be wearing as the spring season progresses if you live in a cooler climate like i do i live in new york so the beginning of spring feels just like winter but the only thing you have to do is change your color palette but unfortunately for me or fortunately for me i wear the same pastel palette throughout the year except for fall i go for more beiges and creams so i'll show you guys what i've been wearing my jackets my shoes and my clothes let's get into it so first on the agenda we have my school outfit so typically for school i like to dress comfortable not too casual but you know casual and i do carry the same bag with me so if you saw what was in my bag last semester, this semester I just have this bag. So let's see the outfits that I put together to go with this. This is outfit number one. I wear this very often. I love this outfit and how it's layered to keep me warm, but it's also not thick like a heavy sweater. It has a vest which keeps my core warm. I'm wearing fleece lined, flesh toned, tights as close to my skin tone as i could get i bought these on aliexpress i have these pink boots from shein i wear these so often they actually need to be cleaned and from the back the skirt has like a gorgeous pleating design on it it's really cute and preppy and i like it and the headband and one last thing i like to wear a pendant necklace on top to add a little bit of class and daintiness to it I'd either wear pearls or matching earrings on these days. This is a trench coat that I bought from Macy's. It's a Michael Kors trench coat. It was one of my first big purchases and I love the color obviously and the gold hardware on it. It is absolutely gorgeous and the buttons are this is really comfortable and gorgeous. I love it and I always get compliments whenever I wear it out. It comes with a belt and a hoodie, but I took the hoodie off. Normally I would button it, but if I'm in a rush, to be honest, I just tie a bow right here and it works out just fine. And then I put my bag on and this is the outfit for class. And I'm going to show you another outfit with pants and I do wear many, many variations of this. So I'm not wearing this layered piece set here, I will definitely opt for a sweater if I don't feel like putting on 10 layers that day and I just want something easy. Despite the discomfort, I'll do it. And let's go for option number two, which are my pants. All right, so this is one example of what I would wear to class. I love these pants. They're not like working pants, like business. They look business casual, but they're actually leggings. So I paired it with the Zara sweater I thrifted off of Poshmark and I am in love with it. And I do have a very sophisticated into my style where not everything is super pink, but it's more of like the old money side, the Parisian side. So this is that part of it. In fact, I have a scarf that would go better with this, but just because it's spring, I would try to push pink as much as possible. And if I'm not wearing these pants i'm wearing jeans the cigarette pants cut of it and the ballet flats give a whole audrey hepburn flair to it so it doesn't look too boring and you can still tell it's inspired then i also paired it with my glasses sunglasses i got from burlington um i always try to find two new pairs of shades every summer they don't have to be super expensive they just have to look very designer looking and what's great about these they have this cat eye thing at the side so it looks very chic I have this wool jacket, which is very thin. I bought this on AliExpress, like it's literally unlined, like the, the monstrosity, but you get what you pay for. It's very Parisian inspired. It's very classic. Moving on to our next outfit, I'll show you one more school outfit, but with jeans. Okay. So we're going to transition from school outfits to errands as well. This is something I would throw in really fast to run errands because it's not like skinny jeans up and left my wardrobe and they have one use for me. One, when I need to wear pants and I need to wear long boots, which is what I'm doing right now. So I'm wearing my pink suede boots again or maybe my white long boots and that's the purpose they serve. 
If it's raining quite heavily outside, I bought these rain boots on Amazon. And when I'm rushing in the morning, I'm most likely going to put these jeans on. So if I realize it's raining, I just pop these on with the outfit and my legs stay covered, I'm comfortable and I'm in class. I don't feel uncomfortable wearing them. They're very, sh these are very stretchy. These are from Hollister. And I know it's like a fashion don't right now, but they will come back eventually with the new trends. If you're still wearing them, don't feel bad I'm wearing them too. Mainly for these two reasons, because it looks really great with these and tucking in mom jeans or my black pants but these boots is a nightmare and it's so uncomfortable to have the fabric chafing on your leg all day i'd rather wear flesh tone tights regular stockings regular tights or these jeans which is really fast so until i find another alternative to wearing these sure but i only wear them for class really because it's quick and easy and i blend in a little bit more. <laughs> We're on to the next outfit. I'm pretty sure you guys recognize this blouse. I bought this from Shein. Anything that I've purchased from Shein, they're not recent purchases. I bought them a while ago and most of the time they are out of stock or dead stock. Most of the stuff I buy, you cannot buy again um, because they're dead stock and I do apologize for that. But now that I'm thrifting, it's even worse than it was before because you definitely cannot find it again unless there's another listing of somebody else selling it. So I do want to try to buy brands that are in stock for the season. But right now, it's just not sustainable for me to do that if you get my drift. But with that being said, you can buy these shoes on Amazon. They're always on there. And shout out to Bria Lynn. She's the one that pointed me in the direction on finding these on Amazon and this is essential to the outfit as you can see it's very pearl themed I don't know if it's me but these sleeves are enormous on me that's why I don't wear it that often but it's a very cute top and I paired it with this tennis skirt I bought from Amazon I did take the waist in a bit because well not formally I did like a DIY waist taken just because I don't like when my skirts are lower on me than needed. The skirt's very short, but yeah, everywhere else is kind of covered. And we're going to cover up a little bit more with the jacket I'd wear. So this is really cute if I was going out with the girls to brunch and we're all dressing up. I have this pink jacket. It's a wool jacket. I bought this on Depop as well. There's just so many. So I'm just gonna tie it off like that. There's our rows of the leaves and it looks really cute. So, it looks cute enough, I don't like an open chest, so we're going to flap these over and I'm going to grab one of my favorite accessories in the entire universe, a scarf pin. But guess what? As the theme for the outfit is, it's a pearl. But I have the scarf pin. I would obviously take the iron on low heat and quickly go over the seam from it. And the final finishing and touches is a pearl bag. I don't know what's going on with the lighting today, but um, I apologize for that too. I can't control the weather, but I tried my best to film on sunny days. So for this outfit, it is now complete. I've added my scarf pin. I have my pearl bag with the strap. Obviously this won't fit my phone, but thank God for pockets because I do have some pockets I have access to here and it is big enough for my hand. So I guess I'm walking around with cold hands all day. I would also throw on some tea gloves if I was going to tea. And this is the outfit. It's super cute, super pink, super girly, and light because I love a white outfit. And here's the back. But if the buttons were not a problem, and until I can find better snap buttons to replace these with so I can wear it out, and until I can find a bigger version of this bag, this is all I have. So I am working on that. but. Who doesn't love a pearl statement? I think we all like it. That is it. Moving on to my next outfit, I have this tank top is actually from Amber Amber Crombie. The skirt is Charlotte Russe. The cardigan is AliExpress. I showed this many times and I was really obsessed with it. I thought the cream would go really great with my ballet flats. And Another alternative I have, if you don't have a cardigan like this, is a cardigan that has these sweater, this sweater knit on it. This one is from Shein and it does have the buttons on it. So anything with like pearl buttons, if you want to copy this outfit, 
is good as well but i just love the cascading curls it adds another charm to it and the best thing about it is that it goes all across the neckline like it's literally so cute and i couldn't pass up the opportunity of not getting it so moving on to accessories this bag which is like literally perfect and i like how it's balanced instead of looking too granny too cute too chic it's just me like all of it mixed together it's me you have a touch of everything sweater makes it granny yet classy it's only granny just because it's oversized which i'm totally fine with in the springtime because i'm freezing most of the time i always need a cardigan i always need a sweater the headband adds a touch of accessory some height to my head and bringing the color down from the cardigan to my toes it just is perfect moving on to the next cardigan outfit This is the base for the outfit. I've already stated where this was from. It's from Amazon. The shoes are from Fever Soul on Amazon. And this blouse is from Shein. Isn't it luxurious? It reminds me of those lily silk blouses, which I would love to have one day. But until then, this is what we have. It's a very preppy base for a very preppy cardigan. Preppy is not just for the fall time. It's all year round because it's... I don't know, I just like puppy. I just button the top end of the cardigan, no need to button all of it, or you can leave it open. I honestly cannot stand when my clothes are just open and all over the place. It really gets to me. The downside about this outfit is that I lose my waist. I'm a box. For the purposes of this video, I'm gonna leave it open. Moving forward, I have two bag options. There's one that's more obvious than the other. If we're going for like a cute, small bag i definitely would pick this vintage bag it's super cute and chic or to make the outfit look more designer we could also go for my coach bag and a solid headband this is the outfit okay so here's the base for this outfit the white base this blouse I thrifted on Depop and it's from River Island. I also have these cute berry jeans that I bought from Shein a while back. And to top it off, we're going to put on our jean blazer. Here it is. It does have a slight concavity to the waist. I don't know if you guys can see that. That accentuates the female figure, which is really great. Um, it doesn't have a high neck. It's very low so you can play with your collars as much as you want. Wear Peter Pan collar or do as I'm doing now with the River Island. My bag options again are the Coach and the MK. I think either or is fair game if you want to go more on the pink side since the only thing pink I'm wearing is the blazer. I'm going to match that. Or to leave it, level out the playing field, I can use the Coach on my shoulder. It all depends on where I'm going because this definitely gives Y2K with the shoulder bag. Or since this bag absolutely cannot be worn as a shoulder bag and it adds a little bit more classiness to the outfit, I definitely would go for the MK bag. It does add more class to the outfit and the way how I'm holding it is just a natural stature for when you go out and you're like, oh yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's so cute and I like how it makes you feel like prim and proper like if your hand up like this is super cute the sun is literally going in and out of the clouds so i apologize for the lighting again i also just realized this may be a problem in the audio since i am a soft speaker um if you hear a lot of things going on outside they were cutting a, down a tree all day i guess it was a really big tree because they're still out there moving all the wood and that's what all that traffic and commotion outside is going on about. So moving on to our last outfit of the video. I just wanted to do one because I'm actually really exhausted now and I have a lot to clean up. So I want to save that energy to restore my room back to where it was. And there will be another video to come once it's a bit warmer. I'll definitely do warmer spring outfits and then summer outfits. I do have a lot more pieces to share with you guys that you probably have or have not seen already. So this outfit, I mentioned prior that this was a thrifted sweater. Underneath, I am wearing a tank top that I bought from Yet Style a while back. I was trying to get into basics and then I stopped. 
<laughs> it's a really cute tank top I actually don't wear often and it came in handy now so you can wear a t-shirt underneath this the only thing I don't like about this cardigan is since it is actual wool it is very itchy so I would definitely opt to use a scrunchie or a clog clip with this outfit just to make it more hair safe because wool and your hair wool and hair do not really work together especially for my hair since it is basically already damaged. This bag was gifted to me by the brand Skeleton on Amazon and it was for a collab, one of the first collabs I've ever done. I really love this bag. I actually haven't used it because I felt like I wouldn't be able to fit all my essentials in here. And I think I've just been overpacking my bag this whole time because it's my favorite go-to right now, actually, when I go out to run errands. I'm again wearing my Ballet Flats Reviewer Soul. I know I keep wearing the same shoes over and over again, but sustainability. Um, I have my black slacks on, which gives an archer look and a touch of coquette. So it does look elegant and the headband from the 60s. It does look elegant and classy at the same time. If I'm really cold, but this is definitely for those spring months where it is very, it's not super warm outside but it is doable to wear without sleeves like throughout later in the day where it's like 70 degrees. This is a definite yes for spring outfit. It's just perfect for that time. I hope you guys have a wonderful week this week. My apologies for the delay in posting this video. I hope you really enjoyed one of this different format of fashion videos because there's more to come and I was tired. I'm tired of doing the pink wall. It's so not me anymore. I feel like this is more fitting. It does encapsulate my whole persona and I'm excited. I can't wait for spring to finally get warm and we can go into my favorite season, summer, because she's a summer baby, Leo. Comment down below your horoscope and the new pink heart emoji. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, roses. Thank you.